guys. Let's talk about the Federation Cup now. Uh, yes. I'm looking oh, at the fixtures. Um, you're looking at go around and that's why you like to drive. That's why I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know Austin is looking for upsets. Yeah, yeah everywhere. That's, I'm looking that's for how it is all over the world. You know, there's an opportunity for Prime MC will play Cano Pillars. I'm thinking Prime MC can just. You know, give me something prime to talk oh, about. Or even Aqua United, Quarry United, you know, uh, but Quarry United side top, can top also be. Uh, and Rivers uh, Kaduna, yeah, yeah that yeah, one. But with the form Rivers is in right at now, it will be hard uh, for but how my FC uh, shooting stars? Shooting stars. I mean, ever uh, since I've been uh, Ogumbote rejoined that side now, they've been on a great run of form. So I'll be very surprised if uh, shooting stars get knocked out. Can Dreams that FC one, dream? Yeah, they can dream. Everyone can dream. You know, you're allowed to dream, but you've got to, you know, go on the pitch and undo uh, the business. Warrior Wolves, Jigawa, Jigawa Stars, yeah. MFM, Katsina United, yeah, MFM. Yeah, yeah. I like them to actually advance um, into the all, one of All Premier League clash, it's other one, Lobby Stars, yes. and if I remember, that's going to be the one everyone will be looking win. at. For yeah. Round of 16, the fixture, Sunshine Queens and Ocean Babes, uh, Capital City Doves and Rivers Angels. That's on down to watch it for Moscow Queens and Nassau Amazons. That game ended eight goals to nothing. Wow. It was played yesterday, so I mean, it's like they just came, they saw, and they couldn't do anything at all. Ibom Angels and Delta Queens also in action. Gift of Life and Casino Queens also <laughs> in action. COD United and Pelican Stars, Martin White Doves and Bias cool. Queens will also be in action. Cecilia, That's hopefully no walkovers. Yes, hopefully no walkovers. No walkovers. <laughs> no one's coming. It's really been walkovers. pretty, you yeah. know. I mean, the, the last weekend, all the games we actually played, no walkovers. Mm. So we had just one, you know, at uh, the game now, and of course, one at the Federation Cup. So it's always, it's, it's been good for, for yeah. the ladies. It's been good. Now, uh, from very quickly, we'll talk about what is happening in Europe right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we UEFA have actually confirmed that what Russia might just be disqualified. I've, I've received mm. yes, suspended yeah. disqualification. Wow. So should the fans act any act, act any act at game. all, they'll definitely be disqualified. So that bad will be called upon. Let's listen to Pedro Pinto, the spokesperson of media communication of UEFA, talking about how the ban was actually enforced and how it's going to be retrieved if you know any of the fans just misbehave. UEFA independent control ethics and disciplinary body met here in Paris this morning to deal with the disciplinary proceedings that have been opened against the Russian Football Union following the incidents which occurred uh, during the England match with Russia on June 11th at the Stade Velodrome. Charges related to crowd disturbances, racist behavior and use of fireworks and these charges were brought against the RFU and the control ethics and disciplinary body decided to implement the following sanctions a fine of 150,000 euros and the suspended disqualification of the Russian national team from UEFA Euro 2016 for the crowd disturbances in accordance with the article 20 of the UEFA disciplinary regulations this disqualification is suspended until the end of the tournament. Such suspension could be lifted if incidents of a similar nature, and this is crowd disturbances, occur inside the stadium at any of the remaining matches of the Russian team during the tournament. Now, this decision can be appealed, and we will wait for an appeal and whether it comes. Suspended disqualification from Russia all in a bid to ensure that uh, we don't have fans trouble or any form of violence at the ongoing uh, Euro Championships. Um, it's um, a Wednesday morning. Joseph Atewe joins us now. Joseph, good to have you on good the show. Morning, Austin. It feels great to be back. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. But I think you have a lot to say about that because I don't know where this is coming from. Even you said, you said before the game, these fans already started trouble. Yeah, they, yeah they, they've been making you know, causing a lot of havoc, you know. Yeah. It's like a battle front out there, and you wonder what's, what's going on in the minds of these guys. Uh, have they come to enjoy football, or yeah. have they come to do something else? And um, I think it's a bit harsh, though. Yeah. I mean, if Russia get thrown out of the tournament because the fans are being stupid, yeah. then it'll be very, very, very unfortunate. Uh, 
Come for Russia. Just another thing is, is harsh because we shouldn't allow violence or fans trouble yes. to touch the football. Well, I don't think it is because if the likes of uh, um, South Africa in 2010 and Brazil in 2014 can keep uh, uh, unruly fans, then I think um, fans as number one country when it comes to sport, as far as I'm concerned, you expect them to do more. But they've put some uh, uh, certain things in place right now. We know if the fans act unruly, uh, after this game, uh, the next game, they would probably be disqualified in that. But if you ask me, I think the players uh, shouldn't get involved with this. Might just yeah, be that's, more that's, my, that's my point. Yeah, it might just be that's more trouble if Russia, if Russia is suspended. More, <laughs> more trouble. trouble. I don't think so. You know, it's no, like, I mean, once they're suspended, to... then they go home with their fans. Yeah. Yeah. And some of them, they are in No, you can still stay here. Because the fight are hammer. Some have been arrested with about five of them have been arrested. About 35 the other time that we reversed and all that. The bus was actually... <laughs> no, it's, kind of, it's I think they're, they're actually trying to use the, the pleas uh, about. We, we, before I, I, the tournament, I think the pleas are not doing enough because they've come out to say yeah, some of the fans have been trained to come uh, and cause trouble at the tournament. So why let them gain entry? Wow. That's the point. The point mm -hmm. is, the point. What happened was that even the ones that came through the Marseille airport and all that, they didn't allow them in. You know what happened? They have your passport for crying out loud. They went to Switzerland and came by land. What? So <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. So not all of them came through the airport. I know. So there's so little you can actually. You know what I know that. we can so do now, and what I know we can do is we'll go on a break. We'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> so, of these, we'll be right back. <laughs>